SQL Server Integration Services, looping over files with the Forge Loop container. Files to import. The files are located in Files folder. Information about the cars are stored in files. Creating a table. Creating a SQL Server Integration Services Project. On the file menu, point to new and then select project. Select the business intelligence projects and select the integration services connections project template. Name your project. The text in the solution name box changes automatically to match the project name. If you want select create directory for solution and change the solution name dot and click OK. Drag Forge Loop Container Component from the Toolbox to the Grid. Drag Execute SQL Task Component from the Toolbox to the Grid. Drag Data Flow Task Component from the Toolbox to the Forge Loop Container. Double click the Data Flow Task. In Bids. On the Toolbox menu, in the Data Flow Sources group, drag Flat File Source onto the Data Flow Design Surface. Drag OLADB Destination onto the Data Flow Design Surface. Click Flat File Source. In the Properties pane, change the name property to Car File. Click OLADB Destination. In the Properties pane, Change the name property to car table. Double click the flat file source. In the flat file source editor dialog box, click new to create a new connection manager. In the connection manager name box and description box, type car file. Click browse button and navigate to files folder. Click for txt, and then click open. In the left pane, click columns. In the specify the characters choose semicolon and click OK. In the data flow designer, click the flat file source to select it and then drag green arrow onto the OLADB destination. Double click OLADB destination. Click new button. Select OLADB provider for SQL Server and click OK. Type server name, select use SQL Server authentication. Type user and password, select save my password, choose database and click test connection. Click OK. Select Table or View option. Select Car Table. In the left pane, click Mappings. Drag Column 0 onto Car Column. Drag Column 1 onto Model Column and click OK. Click Control Flow Tab. Click Execute SQL Task. 
in the properties pane, change the name property and description property to truncate table. Click data flow task. In the properties pane, change the name property and description property to import cars. Double click execute SQL task. Select the appropriate connection. Choose false in bypass prepare property. Double click SQL statement and type truncate table car. Click Parse Query and then click OK. Double click Forge Loop Container. Click Collection. Select Forge File Enumerator option. Click Browse button and navigate to Files folder. Type TXT Mask. Click Variable Mappings. In the Variable drop-down list box, select New Variable. Type Variable Name. Click Car File Connection to select it. Click the ellipsis in the Expressions property. In the Property drop-down list, select Connection String. Click the ellipsis in the Expressions property. Choose User Car Files variable and click OK. Save and select Start Debugging to run Cease Project. See the result. In Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio execute the SELECT statement. All files have been loaded. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com